Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool flower of life patterns with a photograph we've taken of a daffodil, which has then been copied and pasted many, many different times to create this wonderful um, sort of sacred geometry style pattern that's very famous, the flower of life. We've done that videos before showing you how to arrange a circle into the shape, and now we're going to do it with an actual photograph of a flower. So we're going to have fun exploring how to do it. I'll do it in Photoshop, but you could equally do it in Photop. Either way, you'll need a blank canvas, which I have got here with a picture on it. You will need a photograph of a flower and a circle. To make the circle, you can use the circle tool down here. You can change the settings at the top here, so you've got no fill, you've got a white border, 10 points, and then you can then draw the circle where you want it and place it in there, okay? I'm not going to use that one because I've already made one. So bin me that one. Once you've got your first picture of a flower inside a circle, you will need to use copy and paste. So you need to go to edit and copy and edit and paste. And you will end up with more than one of them. To do the moves, what we're going to do is we're going to change the opacity to about 50%. And then we'll use the move tool at the top here to move it so that it is exactly halfway. You see little pink lines? That shows me it's in the right place. Now, what we've done here is I've prepared for this already. So there are the next few flowers that will be copied and pasted. I've already got that one, haven't I? So there we go. And we'll add the other ones in and you can see that there are seven circles in total arranged in such a way that they all overlap where they intersect on their angles now this creates what's called the seed of life which is a famous geometric pattern and then what i've done is i've put the top daffodil in the middle at the top now to do the next stages of this design what we'll do is we will select all the layers by pressing shift and clicking on all of them so we've got them all selected. Do that again, make sure I've got them all selected. And then we will right click onto the layers and click merge layers. And now you'll see I have one layer with my image on. Now to make the pattern like we've got over here, you can see I have copied and pasted it. So I duplicate the layer. And then I move the duplicated layer until it lines up with the circles underneath and you can see the pink lines again creating my design so i need to do this several more times so i'm going to go duplicate layer click ok bring it down so that all the lines line up press enter go over here duplicate the layer again because it's a sort of a bit of a repetitive process but it's very satisfying when the picture has been created so that one up there, make sure it lines up at the bottom. And then right click, duplicate that layer, click OK, drag that one, drag that one down here, line that one up, where's it lining up with? There you go, you can always tell when you do it right because you get the little pink line. Right click, duplicate layer again. Click OK, drag that over to this side, look for that place where it lines up, and then duplicate the layer one more time, move that up here, make sure it all lines up perfectly. better and then what I did on my first one is I clicked on this one and brought this one to the top so I'm going to that layer and just drag it all the way up to the top so that I've got the middle flower showing and I'll click on this tool and there you go that is my pattern. Obviously, depending on the order of the, the layers, you have different designs on the one I did first. I think I had it slightly differently with the right layers. Okay, once you've done that, obviously make sure you save it. 
you can experiment with different color schemes you can experiment with all sorts of different things have each different layer could be a different color so i'll quickly show you how to do that so this is our top layer we'll keep yellow this one will go to image adjustments and we'll look at the hue and saturation we'll change the hue so we'll add like some red over here this one we'll click on the same thing so image adjustments we'll go to the hue saturation and we'll go kind of pinky click ok the one at the top we'll do next we'll go image adjustments and we'll go to hue saturation and we'll go kind of blue Bluey color. Click OK, and then we'll go to the one that's next to that, which is this layer, and go to image adjustments. And we'll try a different green. If you can't see it, we'll move it out of the way. So we're going to go greeny color. We've got the yellow, and then we need to go to the bottom layer and make that an orangey color. So we'll go to image adjustments, view saturation, and we'll go kind of orange. Okay, so we could do something like that, and maybe we'll make the middle one uh, not yellow. Maybe we'll make this one image adjustments, view saturation. Maybe we'll just take the color out of the middle one. So it's not so bright, so I have like a white one in the middle. There you go. And then we could try it in different styles as well. So there's lots of variations you can make once you've made your patterns and just have fun exploring different designs with it. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed watching it, obviously go over to Quentin Carve the Nature of Flowers, hit the subscribe button, give it some thumbs up, and um, leave some comments. I'd love to help with anything you need to know. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.